Hey guys, my name is Trevor and I eat, sleep, and breathe movies. If you guys are in the same boat, make sure you go ahead and click that big subscribe button. And today is a different kind of video. I normally do ranking videos, but I've been looking into doing tier videos. I kind of figured out a way to do it. I'm actually really excited. So today we're doing a tier video of movies that I missed in 2019, meaning movies I didn't get a chance to review on my channel, and we're going to rank them. We have eight movies to put on a tier today. Very, very excited for it. Before I give you guys my ranking and my tier list, make sure you go ahead and comment yours down below. See how ours compare, and at the end of this, I will rank all eight of these movies and I might be doing another movies I missed in a couple weeks. Very, very excited about it. So let's just get right into this. All right, and starting off with my tears, we got the first one, Amazing. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what that means. The movie was great. I loved it. That's the Amazing tier. We got a couple movies going to that one. Then we got Good, not quite amazing. Movies I really, really liked but did have a couple problems with it. Didn't make it that amazing tier. Then we got Meh, just a movie that was just pretty much average, nothing too special. Then we got bad, meaning movies I didn't find much enjoyment. And then we got what in the F. Definitely have one or two going out. It just means that these movie did not work on any level. And I absolutely hated it. So there's my tier. Now let's go ahead and get started. And this movie actually came out the other day. And I loved it. And the first one on this list is Jexy. And I can't believe I'm about to say it. But it's going on the amazing tier oh my god i love this movie it just had a deeper meaning than i think i was really expecting that people are addicted to their phones and that they're always just so worried about what's going on in here they're so oblivious to the world going on out there i cannot believe how much this movie hit that deep message in this funny movie adam divine is absolutely hilarious he plays that awkward cute charming guy so well and then the love story in this movie not between him and his phone but between him and a real life girl is great it's like a romantic comedy with them you get to go on cool adventures this movie movie just knew what it was going for. It was an hour and 24 minutes. It knew what it was trying to do and it really nailed it on the head. I love Jexy. It came out last week. I didn't get a chance to review it over the weekend so we're talking about it right here and it was amazing. Next up a movie, another movie I actually saw this past weekend. Didn't get a chance to review so we're going to put it on here. Gemini Man and I'm going to go ahead and put Gemini Man on the good tier and for the most part I had fun with this movie. It's a generic basic action movie starring Will Smith and Will Smith. Like, I don't, I, I was really just expecting a fun action movie, and that's what I got for the most part. The script, of course, is, is not the best, and the plot is so generic and basic, people think it's boring. I never found myself bored. I was honestly entertained to the max, but where the movie just, it really just slacked off for me. It Just the last 15 minutes, it seemed like the budget went out the door. Because, oh my goodness, the young Will Smith was CGI the whole time and it looked flawless. But the last 15 minutes looked like a cutscene in a Call of Duty game. Literally looked like a freaking animated cartoon Call of Duty character walking around with regular people. Everything turned to a green screen. It just went completely down in the toilet. And everyone in my theater were laughing like, are you serious? This is what happened? Till that point, I really enjoyed it. Just a simple, you go, you retire and your government turns on you because the agent's gone rogue. Of course, we've seen that before. I had a good time with it, but the last 15 minutes brought the score down quite a bit. Next up, we have Booksmart. A movie I was so excited for and I really, really enjoyed. I laughed my butt off. It's like a super battle with two female roles. So I'm going to go ahead and say book smart to the amazing tier. Olivia Wilde's directorial debut. And I think she really just crafted this fun, sweet, cool story about two girls. Boys just did their homework and didn't go to parties. And realized that the people who did go to parties and do all those crazy things ended up getting in good schools just like they did. And they start to think that maybe they missed out on high school. And they're going on this mission to live one night and say right before high school ended we went to a party. It's funny. It's stupid. Everything that can kind of go wrong for them goes wrong for them they have some great chemistry and you just it's a basically super bad following two female roles it's hilarious it is awesome i love what olivia wilde did i wouldn't say it's one of my favorites of the year but it definitely is an amazing movie super funny super kind of heartfelt and everything it's very relatable i'm sure for women around the high school age especially so it's a, it's a really really fun good movie next up annabelle comes home i love the country movies this is my favorite horror movie of the year so it easily gets the amazing tier. They took the concept of a haunted house, so basic, a haunted house, and they made it thrilling. They made it like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? 
And that's what I loved about it. Such a basic concept that can make you just sit like this, like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? It can make you, get you the heebie-jeebies up your spine. It is awesome. I love what they did with this movie. I love the continuation. And there's one girl who keeps making these mistakes because she's told she's not supposed to do something, but she keeps doing it. And you're so mad and you're a stupid person making stupid mistakes and a stupid horror movie. I hate this, but then you find out her reason for doing it all. And 100% makes sense. If you don't buy her reason, you'll hate this movie. I bought her reason, and I loved this movie. Scary. Had some good little humor in there. Had some okay little romance in there as well. But this movie is haunting, and it was really good at building tension. And I loved it. Next up, we have Ma. And this little bad boy is going in what in the F. Meaning, what in the F did I watch when I saw Ma, it's awful. That's just, it is horrendously, what in the F? I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I don't hate movies all too often, but this one is safe to say, I hate it. Um, I don't want to get into it because it's so bad. And my best friend watched it and he was like, do you see Ma? I said, no, I have. I'm really excited to see it. And he was like, dude, it's the stupidest movie I've ever seen. I was like, come on. He's a real hard critic. Like he didn't think Avengers Infinity War was that great when it's one of the best movies ever made. Okay. And this one, I was like, Wow, if this was a Lifetime movie, went straight to like video, I, I get it, it would be pretty good. But this is like a budget, movie with a big budget, big boy budget. Octavia Spencer is the lead, and like, it just fell flat. I'll just give you context. Like, these kids, they're stupid, they go hang out with um, Octavia Spencer, she invites them to their house, goes in their basement to party, so it makes her feel better. And one of the kids goes, hey, you got pizza rolls? And she's like, yeah, I got pizza rolls. And he's like, cool, thanks, Ma. And that's how she got her name. That, that's stupid. I don't know what is. I hated it. Oh, next up, we got scary stories to tell in the dark. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go meh. I didn't find this movie interesting. I just found it like it was just there. I didn't really hate it. I didn't really like really like it. The scares were really low. But the one thing that kind of got me not interested, but kind of got me like, uh, is when the girl thinks she has a pimple. She's trying to pop it and a spider comes out of her face. Oh, heebie-jeebies, every time I have a pimple now, I try to pop it. I'm like, I am just nervy to do that because the spider's coming out. So, eh, the scares weren't there. The CGI wasn't that great. The characters, they were okay, but not a movie I absolutely hated, but not a movie I, I really loved. It's just, it's just there, all honesty. Next up, Good Boys. I'm going to go ahead and put Good Boys in the good tier. Like a super bad movie. I guess I said that for Booksmart, but it's like a super bad movie following... Three kids, and what the funniest part about this movie is I related to these kids. Like they're like, I want to play with action figures. I don't want to go do this. They're like, yes, that was me. One of the kids goes, I love rules, and that was me. I my friends like, let's do this. I'm like, no, won't we get in trouble? I was that kid. I was that annoying friend, and the kid like, we're gonna get in trouble. What's gonna happen? But, and then my friends were always like, are we fifth graders? Are we sixth graders? Let's go. That was my friends. I just related to this so much. And then there's this one kid who's just trying to impress a girl because he likes her so much. And that was me too. A kid who loved rules and trying to impress girls. Uh, I was not much of the ladies man back then, guys. So it was funny. I laughed my butt off. It was about an hour and 30 minutes. Really just hit it on the head. It was going for laughs. And that's exactly what we got. I really liked Good Boys. It wasn't like a greatly made movie. But these three kids, they were funny. I can't wait to see what they do next. They were very, very funny. Very it was a really good movie. And next up, we have Shazam. Easily the best DCEU movie. And it's going in what in the F? No, I'm just kidding. It's going to amazing. I really, really, really liked this movie. I really, really did. I wanted, I kind of wanted to love it. I really wanted this to be one of my favorite movies of the year. I don't think it's quite there. It's probably an honorable mention. I really just enjoyed this movie. I'm really just happy what they did with it. Easily the DCEU. Best movie, Zachary Levi, Zachary Levi really carried this movie on his shoulders. Certain problems I had weren't really enough to bring it down that much of a score, but fun movie, great CGI, really funny, awesome characters, and you really just get a really good, heartfelt comic book movie, and that's exactly what we want, and that's exactly what we got. So therefore, it's on the amazing tier, and before I say goodbye to you guys, we're going to go ahead and rank all these movies. So, at number one, I'm going to go ahead and say... Annabelle Comes Home, number two, Booksmart, number three, Jexy, number four, Shazam, number five, I'm going to go ahead and put Good Boys, number six, Gemini Man, number seven, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and number eight, 
last place for everything is Ma. So there you guys have my first tier list rank or ranking video. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. If you guys want to see more, very, very excited. Had a lot of fun learning how to do this. A lot of fun to make it. So whatever you guys thought of it, make sure you go ahead and comment that down below. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor and go see a movie. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!